Just look at the big differences that we're seeing on our tower cams. This is our tower cam here in Athens as we have a beautiful day with a lot of sunshine, blue sky, and just a few clouds mixed in. No rain to track here in our area today. Compare that to what we're seeing here on our Earth cam. This is from St. Croix uh, in the uh, Virgin Islands, St. Thomas actually in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, very rainy conditions, hurricane conditions moving through. The center of the storm now is just to the north of St. Thomas. Let me show you what we're talking about right now on radar. We'll zoom in a little bit tighter and you can see how the center of the storm is just to the east of Puerto Rico. And here you can see there's the eye right there. Here you can see the Virgin Islands right here where you've got St. Thomas, St. John, that area getting uh, pummeled with rain and wind. Now the storm has crossed over the islands and is now moving uh, just north of the Caribbean here now into the Atlantic Ocean. It will continue that motion here and we're going to see some fluctuations in the intensity. Here is the track that we showed you earlier becoming a category two and then a category three. We're looking here at the storm fuel. This has to do with our sea surface temperatures as well as just the fuel needed for this storm to develop where you see that spike right there. That's why we think this is going to intensify before it makes landfall in Florida, most likely late Sunday into early on Monday. So a lot to watch with this system. Still a very large margin of error there of where we think the center of the storm is going to go. We're watching those models very closely and we'll have to keep watching this. See how the spaghetti plots in the last part of this that widens out a good bit. It all de depends on if this storm comes into Georgia, whether or not we'll have impacts here in North Georgia, or if it's going to go into the Gulf of Mexico. We'll try to break that down for you and talk about some potential impacts for us coming up at the bottom of the hour.